A caution tonight for parents of young children about what drinks are best for their growing bodies. The warning is related to plant-based beverages, which can appear similar to milk. But as CTV's Michelle Gerwing shows you, when it comes down to nutritional value, they're not the same. These moms have all been successful breastfeeding their babies, but soon they'll be transitioning to other foods and drinks. Candace Appler and Kim Ferguson say they're going with cow's milk. We just transitioned to homo milk first, and then we went to 2% from that. Uh, that's just what my mom gave me when I was a baby, uh, and I don't really know too much about the plant-based milk. Classmate Lorraine King has other plans. Although we will do some dairy with like cheeses and yogurts, uh, I don't think I will be giving her straight cow's milk. The Dietitians of Canada and the Pediatric Society of Canada say they're concerned about more parents feeding plant-based drinks to infants and young children. They suggest parents avoid replacing milk with rice, coconut, almond, hemp or potato beverages for babies and kids. What the Canadian Pediatric Society and also the Dietitians of Canada have reported is that some children have been malnourished because it doesn't, it's not equivalent to a glass of milk. Clinician scientist Celia Rod has studied these kinds of drinks. She says many parents and healthcare providers can be fooled by calling them milks. They don't have the same nutritional content such as protein, calcium and vitamin D and all the good things that kids need to grow. Rod's advice, read labels and look for the word fortified. She suggests parents follow the current Canadian recommendations for children 2 to 8 years old, which is two glasses of cow's milk or fortified soy beverage per day and full fat homogenized milk up until age 2. On the other hand, if we let them have hemp or rice or almond beverage that's not fortified, it's going to fill them up and they're not going to be hungry and getting other sources of protein such as meat or lentils or cheese. Once little Felicity is is ready to move on to new foods, her mom says her little girl will get all the nutrients she needs to grow. I think that we're going to just uh, try a variety and see what she likes. Michelle Gerwing, CTV News, Winnipeg.